Next up, we have Starlet Renaissance Comedian. Just go ahead and we'll let you go ahead with your comedic skit. And okay. thanks for being here tonight. Thank you. And um, we appreciate your Thank company. Thank you. And I'd be more than happy to give you all the information on what's going on next. Thank you. Well, first of all, good evening to the people in the studio and to Denver out there. Thank you all for tuning in. And um, first of all, I don't know how many of you are that's become political junkies, but I'm definitely obsessed with politics. I mean, I go to sleep with CNN, I wake up with CNN, and I don't know, I, I didn't really realize how serious politics was in Denver until DNC came here. I mean, why no Willie snuck up behind me, was asking for change as usual? <laughs> And I looked at him and I was like, boy, you've changed. They had him in a suit, <laughs> did his hair, had him passing out pamphlets all on the 16th Street Mall. Didn't even recognize him. And then when the DNC left again, he came up to me again and asked for change. And I was like, boy, you changed. They then took the suit away from him and the change in his pocket. <laughs> he was back to Wino Willie all over again. So any of you independent voters out there don't know what to do? You just talk to Wine on Willie. He know all about change, okay? <laughs> I guarantee you. And come on now, you guys are, any, I mean, Republican men who favor Palin, y'all know what that's about. Come on now, the man is 70-some years old. What would, why wouldn't he go get someone as close to a stripper as possible, okay? <laughs> He's about to die in a few years. Of course he wants somebody running around there looking like a stripper. Okay, so, you know, big ups to McCain for that. Okay, with his one short arm or one long arm. How is he gonna cease fire if he can't even raise his arm past his head? Okay? We can't take chances like that. <laughs> okay. And I'm in a relationship these days, you know. I don't know how many of y'all in a text relationship. Have you ever had a text relationship? I mean, you gotta do lower case letters when you're happy. <laughs> then you got a higher case than when you're upset and put exclamation points on them, okay? That's not the way to go, but. That's it, that's what I have with a text relationship. And um, also, I wanna talk about family. If any of you out there close to your mom? Dad, are you? Okay, well my mom and pops, you definitely, definitely is one of kind parents. I love you out there, but I'm here to tell you, my pops is still institutionalized, okay? He ain't been to prison 20 years but he still be lifting weights with those water bags. Well, he, lift, he fill up water in hefty bags, be in the living room lifting weights. <laughs> he still cook noodles in a jar, okay? Put chips in them and sit them on the side of the couch like, hmm, okay, it's almost time to eat my meal, okay? <laughs> but don't get him wrong, though. He's buff, though. He's in fit condition, okay? My pops ain't no joke. He mean mug you on his payday. We don't have to say nothing to him on his payday. He just sitting there watching sports like, <laughs> Okay, but I guarantee you he knows what our payday is because he's very nice, him and my mom. My mom know how to get money out of us because she'll go ask everybody in the family that she need money for her prescription. All on the same day. Everybody giving her money for one prescription. <laughs> okay, by the time at the end of the day, she got over a hundred and some dollars, okay? And my uncle Johnny, you know, me and him, we're roommates now, and I love living with my uncle, okay? He, he's very cool, he got a job. I mean, how many of y'all get a roommate that finally has a job? It's nothing like it, okay? But he's five foot tall, and he moved in a futon that looked like it was made for Shaq O'Neal, okay? <laughs> he'd take a shower, and he'd be sitting on it, be kicking, swinging all up under the futon, <laughs> okay? He'd be laying on the side, kicking his legs. Look at awfully comfortable, I get kind of jealous. The minute he goes to work, I'm hopping on the futon like it's nothing, okay? Just jumping up and down, rolling all in it, <laughs> running to one end and into the other. <laughs> it's nothing like family, it's nothing like family, okay? Love my sister. My sister is my closest, dearest friend. She tries to be funny when she, you know, she doesn't try to be funny, but she does, she is funny, okay? My sister the type, everything that she communicates with has got to be the word okay. It doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> we're like, sister, did you see that program? Okay. <laughs> oh, girl, we're gonna go out to the club tonight. Okay. <laughs> Boy, your baby look really nice tonight. Okay. <laughs> so she's very easy to communicate with, okay? I mean, every argument is okay. <laughs> you know? And you know, and some of y'all, you know, baby mamas, there's baby mamas and there's baby monsters, okay? Some of y'all baby mamas, let me tell you the difference between a baby mama and a baby monster. 
A baby mama ain't gonna get up early in the morning and feed their baby some Roman noodles, okay, with the seasoning pack and shit for breakfast, okay? And a baby monster is also gonna go to the church with that club stamped on her wrist talking about glory, <laughs> praising in the name of Jesus, okay? But you've been to Bernard's, okay? Y'all know I had to do a shout out to Bernard's, you know, those you know Bernard's. <laughs> <laughs> and then a baby monster also sent her daughter to Sunday school with that jawstring ponytail that be smelling like Hennessy and cigarettes, okay? But a baby mama gonna get up and do your hair, okay, and send you the right way. Yes, yeah, so that's a baby mama and a baby monster. <laughs> but um, my mic's still on, it feels kind of, oh, okay. <laughs> Got kind of low and stuff. But yes, back to family, okay? My grandmother, she raised me, okay? She made me feel like summer clothes were summer hers and summer hers, okay? I didn't have a clue that they was hand-me-downs from my uncle. That's why I was having dress shirts, this short sleeves with the little shorts with the squares and the triangles, okay? Y'all never had that? Y'all never had your mom cut off the jeans and make triangles and squares out of them? And then she used to press my hair with that cooking oil and send me to school smelling like fried chicken. <laughs> I'm serious. We were so poor, we had to eat cereal with a fork so we could pass the milk, okay? That's how poor we was, okay? Well, she did the best she could, you know. Tried to fool us with that powder milk. Used to wait till we run out of regular milk and fill the rest up with powder milk like we didn't know the difference, okay? Switch the sugar with sweet and low, okay? She wasn't right for doing that, okay? I still got an attitude for that, okay? And my mom, Maybelline, bless her heart, you know what I'm saying? But she, my mom, she'll whoop you, though. My mom got a walker, okay? And you mess with her, she know how to step back and spin it, bring it back and slap you, you know? Okay, you don't can't understand, estimate my mom. But I love them, okay? We had opportunity to be roommates. And I never seen parents turn apartment into a pharmacy and a health center in like one day. You know what I'm saying? When I was going to the kitchen and was getting seasonings and junk, I was saw prescription pills from head to toe. My covers was smelling like being gay every night. They had their canes and walkers parked in the hallway. I couldn't get by. <laughs> I guarantee you. But I love them. I would do it again, all over again. I promise you, I would. And my sister, I love her again. And before I go out, I will tell you a little story about when we used to go out and party together. She used to have hip, you know, she had hips and a big old booty. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all out there like them big old booties, okay? But wait a minute, though, for the ladies, let me tell you something before I go. Be careful ordering Viagra and Extends for your man. Because I ordered Extends for my man, okay? I know y'all know about the Extends. Oh, and it worked, but the side effects kicked in a little too fast. You, know, you would think the side effects kick in after, you know what I'm saying, the business is over, but it kicked in right away, okay? You got the runs and everything, <laughs> throwing up, you know, so ain't nothing like you looking at your business running around hard and sick as a mug, okay? <laughs> That's not right, okay? <laughs> so, you know, be careful when you're ordering that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Make sure he's able to deal with the side effects, okay? And he won't be calling you to the bathroom, looking at his business, wondering what's wrong. Okay, but one thing about going out with my sister, she had a big old, you know, she got a big old booty, and my sister used to do one dance at the club, you know what I'm saying? She used to bounce around, bounce around, bounce around, <laughs> bounce, just bounce. So then I used to come in there, and I used to have to stick my booty out just to match her up, you know what I'm saying? Forget that. So, yeah. And then I used to say, you know, drop it like it's hot. Okay, I ain't the one. I'm gonna feel ya. Star just walked out. Y'all just don't know about it already. Okay, but I do thank y'all for this evening. And I'm out of here. Thank you so much. You can see me again at um, hosting a Halloween party October 31st. That's brought to you by 80s Babies Promotions. Uh, upper uh, Ashalon Models is gonna be there. That's October 31st. Doors open at 7 on Spruce and Koufax. Thank you, have a good evening. We had some pictures over here of your illusions. Is that what you called them? We have two over here. Miss Jenkins, right? Yes. And who's the other one? Neckbone, the player. <laughs> Neckbone, the player. <laughs> Miss Jenkins, she's 75 year old bitch. Okay, she's on parole. She do comedy for community service. <laughs> and Neckbone, the player, he's been a player since the figure stand on Welton. <laughs> awesome. And those are two characters that you do during your show regularly. Thanks for coming out here tonight. Thank you so much. Um,